YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video I wanted to show you how to get an animated lock screen on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now this will work on all firmware starting from the earliest 2 point firmwares to the newest 3 point X firmwares. Now if you don't know what I mean, I'm talking about how to get an animated background for this screen right here, which is the lock screen. So right now, and right now I just have a picture of a globe. I'm going to show you how to get that to be animated, which means it is uh, moving a little bit. Okay, guys? So the only thing you'll need is Winterboard, which you can download from Cydia, and hence you'll need a jailbroken device. Once you have jailbroken and Winterboard installed on your device, you will, need no, you will need to know how to SSH. If you don't know how, I'll put a link in the description on my video on how to do that. And uh, once you've watched that, come back to this video and follow the steps. Uh, now, once you've learned how to SSH and you have Winterboard, we're going to go on to our computer. And once you're on your computer, we're going to need to go into the first link in the description. This will take you to siphone.net forward slash wallpapers, an awesome site for images that are perfectly sized uh, to your iPod Touch or iPhone's dimensions. Uh, so now we just basically want to pick the images we want. Uh, to be animated on our lock screen. I'm going to go down into the technology section and uh, here we have all these images that have to do with some kind of technology a lot of them having to do with Apple and we want to pick some of the images that we want to be in our animated lock screen. Now as you can see these five here uh, the Apple wood ones we have it in five different colors uh, if you want your, your animated lock screen to kind of go kind of smoothly and look kind of neat then you kind of want to have something of the same images but just in the same in different colors so I'm gonna go for these five images and because I want that to be my animated lock screen so all I want to do is click on the picture that we want right click it and click save image as then you just want to save it to our desktop and we'll be all set and then we want to pick the rest of the images that we want to be on our animated lock screen. Like I said, I want it to kind of all fit together so it'll look smooth. So I uh, decided to pick the same images except in different colors. So again, click on them and right click and save to your desktop. Once you have all the images saved that you want to be in your animated lock screen, we want to go into the second link in the description, which will be Picasso.com. Uh, it's basically a subsection of Picasa, the uh, Google. Uh, album service and this will basically let you create an animated gif image and a gif image is just basically a moving image so it says image uh, we want to upload uh, the number of images we want it starts us off with three but like I said I saved five so we're gonna click add one more picture twice and so we have a total of five browse buttons now we just want to browse for those pictures that we saved from the website I gave you so let's start with the blue open and we're going to browse for all of those pictures that you downloaded. I picked five, but you can do as many as you want. And three down. And then we have the green one. And then finally the black one. Okay, so this is the order that I wanted my image to be in, from blue to black, in that order. Uh, and now when we see size, we want to right click on, we want to click on the uh, down arrow, and we want to click advanced. And here it's at, where it says your size, we want to put 320, that's 320. And then for speed, we can choose normal, fast, faster, and the slow, slower, and there's advanced. Uh, basically, I would go for normal or fast would be your best options. I'm going to go for fast, but I would pick one of these two. I recommend that, but I'm going to go for fast. And once we have all of that done, we can click down here that says Create Animation. And then it'll give us a preview after it's done uh, uploading the images and everything. And here we go. Here's our little preview. Uh, as you can see, it's going fairly fast, um, and that's because I chose it to be that way. And this is what our animation will look like on our lock screen. So once we're happy with that, we can scroll down and click Save This Animation to your computer. And we're going to click Save File. And of course, save it to the desktop, best place. And we can close out of that now. And here is our GIF image, right here. Now we can ignore these five images that we saved originally. We don't need them anymore. I'm just going to keep them right now. And here is our animated picture. 
We want to rename this, so right click and select rename. And we want to rename this to L O C K S C R E E N dot G I F. That'll all that'll already be there. And click outside. And that's what's gonna be lock screen dot gif. Okay? Once you have this new animated image, you want to download the file that I've prepared for you in the description. So it'll be a mega, mega upload link. So just click on that and download it. And you will have this folder that says animated. It'll actually be in a zip file, but you just right click and extract it using WinRAR. Once you've extracted that file and you've gotten the folder that says animated, we're going to double click in there. And we'll have one image in there called lockbackground.html. Don't even need to touch that. I've done all the hard work and I've done it for you. So no need to even uh, bother with that file. I have it all prepared for you. All we want to do at this point is drag and drop that GIF file that we made into this folder that says animated. And bam, all done. We can close out now. If you want, you can rename this animated folder to whatever you want. Uh, I'll rename it to... Whoops, whoops. I'll rename it to Apple Lock Screen. Alright, and once you've gotten that all set, we can SSH like I told you you needed to be able to do before. And we'll just wait for my WinSCP to load up. And make sure SSH is enabled and click Login. And we're going to be SSHing into our device. Alright, once we're at the home screen, we're going to backspace once, scroll down to the third to last folder called Stash, and we want to drag and drop that folder that says Apple Lock Screen, or if you didn't change it, it would say Animated, uh, with the GIF image and that HTML file, we're going to drag that folder into our iPod Touch, into the folder that says Themes, okay? So drag and drop it in there, and when it asks us to copy, we're of course going to click Copy and it just copy in no time at all. And now we're gonna bring you back to my iPod Touch. So now all we wanna do is open up Winterboard. And we wanna click on Apple Lock Screen and click the Home button. And now our iPod Touch will respring. Alright, and it's almost on springing, and as you can see, this is my animated lock screen. Whoops, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, and back to the beginning. So it loops back always. So that's how you get an animated lock screen, guys, that's moving. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If it did help, make sure to rate five stars, and of course, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, comment showing me some love on this video. Alright, guys? Uh, see you later.